What up, sports fans? Welcome back to Clint City, Bay Bay. My name's Hip Hopper, and you are watching Hopper's Hip Tips. That's right. We got some hot, steamy EFC action on the way, and we're going to talk a little bit about. Uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about Pocket City first, though, because I, ha I have I've been thinking about it. I have some thoughts. So we'll talk about Pocket City. Uh, we uh, we are in a full-on battle of power with Guerreros. Argentinas, um, and they, I guess that's like uh, Argentinian bandits, I think is what the translation is. But uh, anyway, we're fighting them. Yeah, we got a lot going on right now. Let's do this. And I don't know what the deal is with my recording app lately, but man, it's sensitive. And I am just, I'm just not going to touch a damn thing today, okay? I'm not going to pause. I'm not going to do anything. We're just going to let it run, and hopefully we'll capture everything we need to capture today. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, uh, they added a few new features to Club Wars, and you can check that out. Uh, one of which I, I suggested. So they, they did take our suggestions into account here, and I appreciate that. Um, so uh, basically they added some objectives to the uh, to club fights. Um, you can you can win fights against members of the opposing club. Uh, again, I suggested that, so that's awesome. I like that a lot. And win rounds against members of the opposing club as well. Um, I don't know that both of those are needed, but um, I mean, I don't know. Maybe they maybe they're, they'll alternate or something like win fight this many fights, and then once you do that, it'll change to win this many rounds or something. So we'll see how that goes. I don't. But having them both concurrently, I think, would be kind of weird. But I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, um, so they did that. And, uh, oh, yeah, you can vote for a new club president now. I guess if your club president goes inactive for 30 days, then a voting button will appear. And everyone who's an associate and above can vote. Uh, can vote in a new president, club president. So that's a thing, too. Um I don't, I don't know that that's really necessary because, I mean, basically, um, I, I basically gave all my, my, uh, what do you call them, associates? Oh, okay, that's what it is. Yeah, just the, just the associates, which is the, um, the admins of your guild get to vote on the new, on a new leader. But I basically gave all my power to the admins uh, in, my, in my club. Uh, they can do everything I can. So, um, so, you know, I don't know that we would necessarily need a new president if I were to suddenly die or something. I don't know. But, you know, whatever. That's, that's a new thing, a new option. And, uh, yeah, so that's cool. But uh, I was thinking about, I was thinking about, um, about, I was thinking a little bit about Pocket City, uh, since yesterday. And, I gotta say, like, the name is horrible. Pocket City is a horrible name. Um, I mean, first of all, it just kind of conjures up, you know, like Sim City and Roller Coaster Tycoon and those kinds of games. Like, that's what it sounds like when you say Pocket City, right? And sure enough, like, I looked up, I was trying to look up the game the other day on Google Play, and I, I typed in Pocket City, and there's actually a couple games called Pocket City, and they are, like, they are like sim type games and it pulls up a whole list of other like you know sim type games and i'm like yeah that's that's not really like that's not really what your name i don't think that's what uh what acute games wants to project with that title but um i mean at the very least i think they should just call it like clint city you know what I mean? But I, but they could come up with way better names, like, you know, Clint City Battles, Clint City, you know, stuff like that. I don't know. I just, I think that name is really problematic. It's really generic, and it's just like, no, I mean, uh, no one's going to join the game by, by looking at that title and going, oh, whoa, that sounds like a cool game. I want to play that. You know what I mean? Like, no one's going to be like, Pocket City, oh, oh that sounds awesome. I won't, sign me up. You know what I mean? So... That's, I think that name's really problematic. But, you know, 
and and, and by the way, I, I have marketing experience if you guys want to hire me. But um, but uh, other than that, though, I think it's a great. I think it's a good move. I think it's a smart move because um, what I'm expecting this looks to me like like basically like a Clash of Clans type game, uh, but with but like you know you are skinned. You know what I mean? Like you are themed Clash of Clans, basically. Which, you know, those games are really popular right now, and I think it's a good idea. I think it's smart to, like, bring in people. I think this will bring in a lot of people who are into those types of games. And then you can be like, oh, by the way, we had this other, you know, Urban Rivals card game you might be interested in. You know what I mean? And, and it might help bring in players that otherwise would not be into uh, that type of, you know, like an Urban Rivals card game. You know what I mean? A, a CCG, so uh, so I think that's smart, and obviously I think they're going to do a lot of cross um, cross promotion between the two, um, so so that might be good. I th I think um, you know you might you might like be able to like play games in uh, in Pocket City and like get rewards in in Urban Rivals. You know what I mean? Like that might be a thing. I don't know. Um, I don't know. That 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 could be good and bad, but um, but anyway, it's a thing. And again, you know, I think it's smart too. I mean, if if Urban Rivals does ever go away, you know, heaven forbid, you know, at least at least hopefully Pocket City will have gained a following by then, and you know, and this could be the future of you know Urban Rivals. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, uh, you know, I'm interested, and and I'm de I definitely uh, signed up for it I, I will try it out uh you know i mean it'll be good for, it'll be good content at least for my channel so i'm definitely going to try it out but um but yeah it, lo it looks decent we'll see we'll wait and see but anyway we got some efc friggin games to take care of here so let's get it on sorry for all the chatter to begin with but sometimes we got to get that out of the way you know what i mean but anyway, we are 270th of Danger Zone here at 203 EFC points. And we did all right yesterday. We went up we went up plus 1 games or so, I think. Um picked up what? I think we went up like 30 points yesterday. So yeah, we we, we ended it with plus 1 games. But anyway, here's game 1 of 10 here. We're fighting PA Tuto, Tuto, PA Tuto. He's an Imperator level 97 uh, from Piratos do Atlanticos here, and he is a good player. I think he's. I think we've played him before, and he's got a. He has three Jungos and a friggin' Bambino here, and I have uh, an even split of Jungo and Furukan here, and I get to go first. So I'm up against Tariel's. Attack manipulation. Um, hmm. Don't really want to throw El Papagayo or El Guacamole right here. So it's got to be excess legend. And if I go 45 attack, he'll probably just uh, he'll probably just blast me with zip. You know what I mean? So we're gonna do this. And maybe that's dumb, and maybe it's not. I guess we'll find out. I mean, he could just no-pill Tariel here and get through for, for a four-life gap. But yeah, I'm thinking he'll probably throw Zip here, and he'll probably go 48 attack. And that'll be good. We'll get some pills out of him. You know what I mean? That's my plan, anyway. We'll see if it works out. Oh, here comes Neva. Okay, maybe he's going to attack me with Neva. Okay, sweet. That works, too. I like that. Uh, so, so he hits me there for a six-life gap, but he's down six pills now. Sweet. So that had the desired effect. Unfortunately, you know, I, I had to take a little hit there, so my, um, my Huracan bonus is down a little bit. So it's down to plus 10 attack here. But that's cool. We, we can deal. Here comes friggin' Bambino. And, of course, he DRs me by one. So...
Do I want to risk El Guacamole here? Um, for a 4 life gap? Yeah, I think I'm going to. Um, actually though, no, actually Foul would be better here, wouldn't he? Um, let's toss Foul, and we will 2 pill. We're a 6 power against his 8 power. And if we go 24 attack, yeah, no, you know what, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. We're going to 1 pill El Guacamole instead. Perfect, okay. So we hit for 4 there. And we're still up 6 pills, because he pilled, so that's awesome. And uh, now what? Now we're going to toss El Papagayo here. Um, what is 8 times 6? 48? 38? So if we go 42, is that going to do it? 7 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 76 is 42. 8 times 6 is 48. Yeah, we're going to do this. That's what we're going to do. Go one, less, one fewer pill here. That'll leave us enough for Foul to beat Zip with. And he tosses Tariel here. And she furied. Interesting. Okay. She went all in and furied. And uh, that's friggin' game, baby. We're gonna get an extra life from Zip here. I like it. Because he has defeat plus one opponent live. So that's awesome. So I guess that I guess my excess legend move to begin the game was a good one. We faked him out there. I like it. So this will be a win. Whether he plays his card or not, hopefully he does, because, you know, I would like some, uh, some, to gain some life points with Foul here. What? Come on, bruh. Don't time out. Don't time out like a little biatch. You don't want to, you don't want to do that. Be a man. Fight to the bitter end, bruh. That's how, that's how men do it. You know what I'm saying? And the backgrounds still don't work here in EFC mode for some reason. But anyway, so it looks like PA Toto is going to time out like a little biatch. And that's just sad, but whatever. I'll, I'll take the win anyway, and I'll be happy about it. So, we pick up 26 points there. We're at 229 EFC heading into game 2 of 10. Delish. Yeah, and I th I'm pretty sure PA Toto beat us the other day. So, um, did he? I don't know. I don't know. It's hard to remember all my opponents. I try to, uh, to keep it interesting. But anyway, uh, here's Finis Orbis here. He is a Colossus, level 122. And he, he beat us, I think, the last time we played him. So we gotta, we got to get some revenge here. Uh, he has an even split here of All-Stars and... Um, oh, All-Stars and Freaks. Interesting. So, I guess we attack with El Guacamole here, and um, let's see, La Fleur can be what? I think if we go, well, she can be a 49 attack, right? Um, and if we are a 35, 49, oh yeah, we can be a 49 attack, can't we? So we'll just go, oh yeah, we'll just go 35 attack here. Oh, uh, but we need to go. We need. We need to go seven pills, huh, to get that. Oh well, that's fine. Maybe he'll, he'll probably go for poison anyway, right? You know what? Now that I think about it, I should have no pilled here, huh? That would have been the smart thing, because he's got Matt alone there. If he takes this, we're down a lot of pills. But whatevs, we'll see. We'll see. So El Guacamole is a 5 power against his uh, All-Stars here. Um, and he tosses Oxana, interesting. So she has half a, an attack here, and we got her, perfect. Perfect pill that we hit for 5. Got a free 5 life gap, and I like it. So, that's good. 
That's good. That's very good. So now I assume he'll throw Fraggle here with his SO, SOB. Um, so let's just toss El Papagayo here. And uh, no pills. Okay. So he hits us for two and gets his poison in. But now what you gonna do, sucker? Um, I have revenge with El Bengal, um, which uh, that's not so good. So let's toss Foul here with no pills, and he'll either he'll, he should take it with Matt alone. I'm thinking. Uh, but if he doesn't, if he beats me with La Fleur, then um, I can just Fury kill with El Bengal next turn. So that's kind of the plan here. So yeah, here comes La Fleur, and she's going to hit me for seven. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna be. I'm only gonna be a four damage now, aren't I? And that's not so good. Um, oh, but actually, you know what? That works. That works. Well, it doesn't really work, but it sort of does. Um, we'll hit for six, and it'll be a draw. So, yeah. All right. All right, so we get a draw with Phineas Otterbees here. He, um, he's a good player, and uh, we at least at least we didn't get the loss. So we're sitting at 229 EFC points heading into game three of ten here with a win and a loss so far, to, or a win and a draw so far today. Game three of ten on the way. Let's do it. We're fighting BMX 87. He's a master level 58 with an even split here of Xerx and uh, Paradox. Xerx and Dox, and uh, we have an even split of our two clans here. And I don't really love me, I don't really love Uwaji. Um, I just, I don't know, I just like to try out new cards. But I think I've tried him out enough, and um, we probably need to switch him out for, for Zip. I mean, Zip's like ten times better than Uwaji. But anyway, here comes friggin' Ramak, and I guess we could actually toss uh, Uwaji here to nerf her asymmetry bonus, but is that what we want to do? Hmm. If she goes 40 attack, what's 40 minus 14? 26? 26 attack. I don't want to go 30 attack with El Papagayo though. Um, I kind of want to. I kind of want to toss El Papagayo here. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go ahead and toss El Papagayo with no pills. Okay, she did go 40 attack. Um, so she hits us for seven. We get a couple life back. And she basically got a five life gap for four pills there. And that's fine. Uh, that's fine. We can deal with that. Anyway, um, what's next here? I guess our next move is El Guacamole, and we want to attack with him, right? So. Elvis is. I don't know, I think I need to beat a, beat a 40 attack here, which is like 31 attack. Which So we'll go 35. And see what that gets us. So that'll take us down to 8 pills. And here comes friggin' Milo. She's just, he's just going to take it, isn't he? Yep, he does. So we blast him for five there. Um, now what? Oh my gosh. We 
guess if he tosses Elvis, we just beat Elvis with Uwaji, and if he tosses Dewella, we just take it with Foul and then beat Elvis with Uwaji, right? That's pretty much what we need to do here. Yeah, and that should be game, honestly. Because Uwaji makes a 3-life gap um, against Elvis. And then Dewella could Fury for, what, 5 minus 4 for only 1 damage. So yeah, either way, we got it here. Sweet. Come on, BMX87. You gotta play, bruh. You gotta friggin' play. So, okay, so he does toss Duella. We'll just take it with Foul. Then we'll beat Elvis with Owaji, and we'll call it a day. Oh, did that not go? Come on, man. Ah, come on, game. Don't screw me. Okay, if I get a timeout here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be pissed. Uh, what's going on, man? Walk, walk around the room. Oh, there we go. Okay, we got it to go, finally. So yeah, he hits me for one here. And I don't care because Owaji kills Elvis and that's friggin' game delish. And there we go, Owaji actually uh, won the game for me. But so, but Zip would have as well. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. Owaji's not that great. So uh, we got a nice win there, and we finished Hurricane up. Sweet. So that gives us what? Cryptos, I think. Two hundred cryptos. Yep. Exolande. All right. So we pick up twenty-seven points there, and that puts us at two fifty-six EFC. Very nice. And um, do I want to, I guess, yeah, I guess I need to switch my deck out here. So I'm going to, and hopefully it doesn't kill my video. So um, just chill for a sec. So here's our new deck. It's, uh, we put in, I put in my, uh, I replaced my Huracan with some Montana. We got Iris Morana here. We got Icaro, we got Figaro, and we have Ed CR. And I went with Ed CR over Desmond just because he's a little more defensive and I'm kind of looking for some defense here. So, because we just lost all of our uh, DR with, um, with the Huracan there. So anyway, let's jump back in here. Uh, we've, we've completed three games, is that right? Holy cow, my apps having a tough time today. Um, come on, you can do it, app. You can do it. Holy crap. Okay, I guess i got to walk around the room again here. Let's see if I can get a friggin' signal. There we go, okay. So, uh, yeah, we're, we, uh, we've played three games. Two wins and a draw so far today. And, uh, not bad. So heading into game 4 of 10 here. And, uh, let's get it on, baby. Game 4 of 10 on the way. Battle starting. We got Montana. We got Jungo. And I did take this opportunity as well, if you saw 